the Yamundi. Look at this lovely sun outside this morning. This is what we've woken up to today. It is very nice. It feels lovely. Birds are singing. The skies are a bit blue. Got all these lilies outside the window here, which is looking nice. Excuse the crazy hair. We've all just woken up and we're just getting ready for the day. Good morning, Story. You're doing a little bit of reading, aren't you? Story has had her milk already and Jay's just gone to prepare her breakfast. And Story woke up to the nicest view out of her window. The sun has gone in a little bit. There was all these lovely low puffy clouds. And listen to those birdies. It feels very quiet and peaceful at the moment. Unfortunately though, the nice morning isn't gonna last. It is forecast rain in about half an hour. So we just made the most of it this morning, looking out the windows and appreciating some, some nice lighting and it's been nice. But yeah, rain is due any minute. Good morning, Eden. Are you quite cosy, comfy there? You've got your donut, you made a little pillow. Let's go and see what Daddy's doing. Story's coming with me. <laughs> Check on her breakfast status. <laughs> Story heard the music <laughs> straight away. <laughs> it's like an instant reaction for Story. Every time she hears a tune or a bit of a beat, she's off. <laughs> You little dancer. <laughs> Church bells are going on at the moment. Off Eden goes. <laughs> oh. Oh, you listen to the birdies. Oh. <laughs> Eden's back in already, so we'll shut the door. Yeah, I'm going to get the pod out. Yeah, good girl. Let me put that in there. Other way, that way. Good girl. Push this down. Press the button. Yay! <laughs> You're getting really good at that. Yay! You did that all by yourself. Yay! Woohoo! You're very good at making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you already made that one, didn't you, Story? It was a bit full up though. And just like that, we are all dressed and ready for the day. Story's actually already been put down for her morning nap. The rain hasn't come yet. It has held off. It said it was due at nine o'clock and it hasn't arrived, which is nice, but it's now saying it's going to be here at one o'clock. So <laughs> this is the situation outside now. Not bad. You can see the sheep over there in that field today. Jay is actually in charge of dinner tonight. So he's in the back there writing a list of what he needs to get. Jay's going to pop to the shop while Story's having her nap. Time for my shopping trip. I've got my list. I've got an empty bottle to fill up from the spring. Oh, there's a bin bag there I have to take as well. It's looking really pretty. It's a shame that the forecast didn't predict it was going to be like this. We would have gone somewhere. Look at this sad state of affairs. All those logs we had dwindled down to just that. Luckily we haven't needed the fire as much. Sasha and I have been talking about our time here in Portugal and how by September we're gonna have been here two years and we still can't conversationally speak Portuguese and we're thinking about getting lessons, but informal lessons. We don't really learn well in formal environments. To date, the reason why we haven't taken any lessons as of yet is cost. It's not that cheap to take Portuguese lessons by the hour. So we're looking into it to see what we can do about the situation. I'd love to be able to converse with the neighbors fluently and not have that discomfort and fear every time I have to face a situation. We thought we could perhaps ask one of our Portuguese friends to give us some informal lessons and we could like pay them a little bit as well to, you know, just contribute to their time 
we'll see if anybody's interested. And obviously the more local they are, the better it is for us because then we won't have to travel so far. But it's definitely something we need to do to get more comfortable with the situation we're in. Right, let's dump this rubbish. The other day when we went to that pizza restaurant in our village, the waitress didn't speak any English and I did the entire ordering for everybody in Portuguese and where Rob was asking questions about the menu and what was available, I found it really difficult but I did manage. So we have been learning and we have picked up quite a lot just naturally and by doing things on apps but it's not enough. Somebody sent us an email the other day saying they were disappointed in us for not learning more of the language and not communicating with the locals more. And I thought it was a little bit unfair, especially considering that this person doesn't know what happens off of camera and how much we are trying and they don't know our personal situation either. So I thought it was a little bit unfair to send that. And I won't name the person, but these are the kind of things that happen when you put your life on YouTube publicly. People do get an opinion of you and what you do and how you do things. I just have to accept that, I guess. Those rain clouds are thickening up. Hey! Hey! I heard you. Did you have a nice sleep? Oh, just woken up. Just as you drove into the driveway. Did Daddy wake you up with the car? No. Yeah. Mm, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, the main reason for this shopping trip was to get castanhas. I'm making a vegan nut roast for food today. I think that'd be nice. It's made with these chestnuts and also with lentils. It's lovely and we haven't had it for a long time. You want to touch it? It's cold. Ooh. Got it? Yeah, it. <laughs> Shoes. Chili. Hey, can you put it in the freezer, Story? Yay. Good girl. Push. Can you put that in the cupboard for me, Story? Good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Story's getting so good at putting things away now. <laughs> it's so sweet. You will be our chief unpacker soon. Yeah, next one. Where does that one go, Story? Whoa, Whoa it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, Story. That one goes <laughs> in the fridge. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Yay! I'm cooking some Portuguese caldo verde that I bought from the store but it's a bit tasteless so I think I'm going to have to add a little bit of salt possibly a bit of chilli as well after living in Asia for five years we really did spice up our foods so now everything gets a bit of a treatment <laughs> Mummy and Story are watching a new programme set in India I can hear the music out there. Story is reading in her room and Jay's in the kitchen busy preparing his lentil chestnut roast for dinner. How's it going? I've only just started really but I've got all the pans on the go. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. It's getting a bit steamy in here. Yeah. The windows are steaming up from the heat from the cooking. Eden is digging her bed again. Eden, do you want to go out in the garden? There you go. This is what it's looking like out here. It is actually raining. You can't really see it on the camera. It's that really fine rain. But it is rain all the same. <laughs> While Jay was out, I prepared this loaf of bread, which has now been cooked and is out of the oven. Also, while Jay was at the shop, I'd done some editing, which is now exporting and rendering and doing stuff so my computer's out of action so I'm just loitering around now really <laughs> so I think I'll put myself to use and make a cappuccino fancy a cappuccino yeah try and do some latte out <laughs> cappuccino and there we have two cappuccinos I'll let you use your own imaginations as to what it looks like I just done 
a couple of these Nicola Descaffeinado coffees. There you go. Mm. Have a boob. Booby. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody off to bed? Yeah. Are you being a good girl? <laughs> What's this? What's this defiance? You don't want sleep? Oh, but you've got your lovely sleep suit there. I think you're going to sleep well tonight, aren't you? One small nap this morning, that's it. Oh my goodness. Okay, lots of play, lots <clears throat> of reading, lots mm -hmm. of building and all kinds. A story done for the day. You've had your dinner, haven't you? Okay, the roast is done. Let's see how it looks. Ta-da! That looks and smells fantastic. So chunky. Looking forward to this. Just gotta let it cool down a bit and then I'll plate everything up. Check out these bad boys. That nut loaf looks really satisfying. I've got a ton of greens and I like to make my potatoes nice and crispy. Sasha's just whizzing up a batch of homemade vegan brownies for afterwards. Is it? Yeah. Story is nicely tucked away in bed. We've got some gin and tonic waiting for us in the living room and we're gonna watch some TV and enjoy our meal. Hope you've enjoyed today. Don't miss out on our weekend vlogs by becoming an eight miler. Click the link up here. We vlog six days a week and we put mini vlogs up on our eight miler page. So check it out and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Guess what? That's yours.